this is why we know that Jesus was crucified. So um, I'm still working on it, but I'm trying to, you know, fine tweak it in a way. But I think that the Muslims need to answer the question is in Islam, why are they still sacrificing animals? Do they know the reason for it? That's it, man. That's a good question. That's a very good question. What up, Nawful? Hi, guys. How are you? I'm all right. How about yourself? Good, good. I just joined like about five minutes ago, and lately I heard James asking about the sacrifice. I just want to clarify some things from like a historical point of view, and also the sacrifice is not just in Islam. You see sacrifice even in uh, the, the Pharaoh's history, or you see it in, even in the, the native Indians, and even they're not Muslims. But the story behind the sacrifice in, in Islam is about Abraham trying to sacrifice his son to God. That's correct. So that's, I, I just want to clarify that. Okay, so hang on a second, Nofel. Why didn't he just uh, take a cup of water or break a, a leaf, leaf of a tree? Or why did he have to unalive an animal, a living animal at that, um, for, 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 for in replacement of his son? Why didn't he have you know just you know stand on an ant or or you know why did it have to be an animal and why did they have to be a blood sacrifice i mean before the blood sacrifice why don't, wait, hang on a second. you know you know i've seen i've seen people actually take fruit and sacrifice mm -hmm. fruit put fruit mm -hmm. in front of idols and stuff why didn't he just take fruit and sacrifice the fruit instead of eating it he gave it to god why did he have to use an animal and have a blood sacrifice well we, when we go to the blood sacrifice or shedding the blood in earth uh that's that's from the beginning of time just between the brothers of Kabil and habil if you really believe in uh, in the old testament and that's what the story says so the shedding of blood it is there and even the conversation that we're talking about as a, with, yeah. as a sacrifice brother as a sacrifice we understand sacrifice. the shedding of blood as as unaliving someone but mm -hmm. as a sacrifice that's where I'm at. Because okay, well, Jesus, well, this was, sacrifice Jesus was be... sacrificed, right? Jesus was crucified. Jesus died. Let me just, let me just say, say my point. And I'm not okay. trying to argue here. I'm just trying no, to, 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 to be in the conversation and be as civil as I can, because I, I no really worries. respect everyone's uh, uh, point of view. So all what I'm saying is, because you said the sacrifice, why does it have to be blood? Well, the shed, what I'm saying is we go, if we go back to the conversation of Adam, and the and the and the angel and God, like like when the question I'm I'm talking from the Islamic point of view. I'm not talking from a Christian's mm -hmm. point of view or Jewish point of view. I'm just telling you what I, I I know. So when Adam was having a conversation with the angel and God was having a conversation with the angel before the creation of Adam. They told him, why would I bow down or why would I respect Adam, right? And then the angel said, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bow down to him. And then well, he the said, Iblis why is that? not an angel in Islam. He's a jinn. Well, jinn, what do you mean? He was an angel. No, he was no, an angel. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't say that he was an angel. It says, and Iblis, one he of the jinn. jinn. Iblis was he's not, an angel. He's not an angel. You're not from the Bible. No. You're mixing that. You're you're mixing mm -hmm. both of our religions together, Fred. But let I, me I, just I, have I, you with that. No foul. No foul. Let me. Blood. I'm going to read something for you from the Bible now to tell you about the blood sacrifice, and I want you to find it somewhere in Islam for me. This again is in Leviticus 17. It says, "For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your souls, for it is the blood." that makes atonement by the life. Now, this is the reason in Christianity, we have a reason for the blood sacrifice, for the atonement of sins. Now I'm asking you in Islam, <clears throat> to prove to us in Islam, what is the reason according to Islam? And don't give me uh, Abraham sacrificed the, 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 the sheep or the goat or whatever you want. I want to know the reason for it. I don't want to know what he did. I want to know why he did it. The reason, honestly, brother, I don't know the reason behind it. I know the story behind why we sacrifice the sheep, but the reason why 
God made Abraham sacrifice an animal and shed blood. That's that's a question to the Old Testament. And this is what we're looking for, no as well. This is what we want. We want because our religion it is based on New Testament and Old Testament as well, and all the prophets. So Beautiful. what I'm saying is, we get some of the fasting from the old nations, which is the Christians and the Jewish, wow. and the sacrifice we got it from the Jewish and the Christians. That's, okay, but listen that's, now. That's listen what now. So, yeah. so this is the most important thing regarding the topic at hand now. Right? If Jesus was crucified or not. Because according to what you said now, you know that you have to now come to the Old Testament to find out the reason for the shedding of blood, the reason for a sacrifice. Because shedding of blood dates back all the way to Adam and Eve. But then it goes on because is the sh shedding of blood necessary? Because we spoke about Abraham wanting to shed the blood. Mm -hmm. But what about Jesus? If Jesus shed his blood, isn't that also to do with the, the atonement of sins? This is why the crucifixion is necessary. This is what Muslims mix. Now you said you have to go open the, the New Testament and the Old Testament to get answers. My question to you would be, Nofel, have you opened the Old Testament and the New Testament to find out why we have to shed blood? Why? why what is the reason for us to sacrifice? And if you haven't, why not? Why can you not? An answer from the, from the Bible. <laughs> Say again. Can you give us an answer from the Bible? Why did God have to sacrifice His Son and shed His blood? Can you well, give me? Well, an I just I just told you why. So so why does it have to be? Why does it have to be blood? You said it can be through. It can like I'm Where just going back to your What words. is life in? Because life is in the blood. That's what God what said, that? and he says, I have given the blood as an atonement for your sins. Exactly. So here, you said you you take from the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament, the prophets, in order to build your theology of sacrifice. You said well, the Christians have a concept yeah, of sacrifice. Bad, that's just uh, according to my knowledge. I'm not an expert in that. I, I'm, I, not, I, I, like, I'm not someone that got the Bible in and read it, and I don't know. Like, even the Quran, it's really hard to to to, to, to understand if you're not, like, uh, really knowledgeable about the language and the context really? of the text and all of that. You see what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm here just to have a, a civil conversation, as, as I say, I guys. I'm not here to attack your guys' belief or anything. I'm, I'm yeah. about open mind, you know? I know. And, I'm, I'm just, I, just wanted to ask, I just wanted you, I just wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. If, if your claim is true, the Christian's concept of sacrifice is rooted in the historical crucifixion of Jesus. Do you believe that Jesus was crucified? Well, the crucifixion uh, was happening during the Romans even before the Jesus. So when we talk I, about I, crucifixion, I know, I, I like know it that happened. Yeah. So it's not just like because of Jesus, crucifixion is being explained in the New Testament. It's because of the history of it. And what I, I know, but do. but is but you didn't answer my question. Okay. Do you believe that Jesus was crucified? No, I don't believe Jesus was crucified. Why don't you believe based him? Was why? Why I don't based in history and based of of cool. what I've been taught and what I learned so, reading the Bible so, is not. Uh, aside from what you've been taught, yeah. you said history. So uh -huh, what is yes. the historical proof that Jesus wasn't crucified? That wasn't crucified? Yeah. The historical proof about it because they couldn't find the body the body disappeared no one could find it that's the history of that but the problem you, is, is you know mm -hmm. historians use the lack of a body and the empty tomb mm -hmm. to show that jesus rose from the dead right. historians well we actually we, we, agree we, we, hold, hold on hold on novel <laughs> historians actually agree that jesus was crucified and that he was put in Joseph's tomb. Yeah. So the problem that we have here is this. One. I, just answered, I, just, I just answered your question. You see, I no, answered no, your no, question. No, no, and no, no. I think it was logical a little bit. But no, 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 yes, no, no, it, no it, well, no, it wasn't. Right, if, it's if, if, hold, hold on. If you're saying that Jesus wasn't crucified because you don't have a body, 
then I want you to provide me this question because of comparison. You're giving us the standard that if we don't have a body of a crucified person, then that person wasn't crucified. No, give me an funny. example of, a, of, of the body that we have of a crucified person. Can you give me that, Nawful? Body of a crucified person, like a yeah, historical body, like a lot yeah. of bodies been a lot of people, a lot of people Such that as? the Romans been crucified. Such and as the, do, do, we have, do we have there the is, bodies? Well, there, no, the body, the body does not remain. Anybody doesn't. Remain. Oh, what, what the body, body doesn't remain. But it doesn't take so, three so days. Hold on, so hold on, so hold on, so hold on, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you you made the argument. Hold on, Nawful. Recognize what you just did. You made the argument that Jesus wasn't crucified because we don't have his body. Put words in my mouth. But Let me you just, but something. you literally Let me just said, you literally just said that. That's what, 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 that's what we asked you. Let me explain said, myself because you did not. Nawful, 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 Nawful. Before you explain laughing, yourself. Man. So relax, before, you, before you explain yourself, uh -huh. can you at least agree that you did make the argument? I did make the argument, but I'm talking about classified bodies from 2,000 years ago. I'm not talking about three days based on the history cool. and the Bible. Okay? So, 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 again, so, so, was, Je so was Jesus, Nawful, Nawful, hmm. was Jesus crucified 2,000 years ago? Was was Jesus crucified? To the, I was not there to tell you if he was crucified or not first. No, but let me no, just no, uh, hold no, on. No. Oh, let me just tell you something. You want you want to go to you want to go to the faith and oh, like what? my lord, like you. So so Nawful, I just asked you one question. What is the historical like proof? Nawful, to... Nawful, Nawful, listen, listen. What is the historical proof? that you can bring that proves that Jesus was not crucified. Can you give me that? First of all, there was no witnesses of the people that wrote, wrote, wrote the history. Hold on, hold on. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your most proof? Most of them ran away. Were, most of them ran your, away from crucifixion. What's your, what's your proof? What's your proof of that? Where's your source? What do you mean? My source is the Bible. Oh, Waffle, so the Bible. Waffle, so the Bible. So let me ask you this question then. Yeah. Does yeah. the pro, does the Bible provide us accurate historical information about the crucifixion of Jesus? Well, it does. Fifty percent of the Romans' history is coming from the Bible. Why is it not accurate? That's not what I. That's not, not what I. That's not what I asked you, Novel. Okay. Does the Bible provide us historically accurate information about the crucifixion of Jesus? I don't know. Who's Can I just me? ask? But you just, but something? Nawful, Nawful, Nawful. You say that you don't know whether or not the Bible provides accurate historical information about the crucifixion of Jesus. But then when I ask you for historical proof that Jesus wasn't crucified, you use the Bible to argue that historically there were no eyewitnesses to it. That is so, true. You're, you're, so, you're is the, so is the so is the so is the so is the Bible historically accurate when it comes to the eyewitnesses of the crucifixion? Mm -hmm. uh, that's not a question, to be honest. I'm I'm just no I'm just no novel 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 before you from, from the before answer. you ask any question, you mm -hmm. have to answer mine. Okay, let's go. I'm so, does no. the Bible provide historically accurate information about the eyewitnesses to the crucifixion of Jesus? So, is the Bible a book of God or a history book? Oh my! No, folks. Okay, so wait, no, hey, hey, hold on, guys, 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 Nawful, you have one more time. One more time. Is I will ask you this question again. And I want you to be honest here. I don't want you to waffle. I don't want you to ask another question. 
I want you to answer it straightforward. Does the Bible contain accurate information on the eyewitnesses of Jesus' crucifixion? Yes or no? Yes. Cool. cool. So do you agree that the Bible does say that the disciples were eyewitnesses because it says that they watched from a distance. The majority of the disciples watched from a distance. But at the foot of the cross, John, the disciple whom Jesus loved, and Mary, his mother, were at the foot of the cross, and Jesus spoke to them. Do you agree? BD, when you get done, I, I just want to ask him a, a, a simple question on the same thing, because I, I, I will. Yeah, I think we know where this is going. And I want Nawful to answer the question. Does this the Bible not, uh, not I mean, say I mean, that? I mean, I mean, Black Doctor Twenty One. No, Nawful, 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 you talk to me. Nawful, you talk to me. Nawful, you talk to me, and you answer my question. Uh huh. Does the Bible not say that the eyewitnesses were there? The rest of the disciples give walking me, from a distance. Give me the verse. Give me the, the, the verse in the context of the verse right now. John chapter nineteen. Okay, let's we'll bring walk the verse through and read it. We'll walk through it. To, I'm trying to. Okay. We'll walk through it together. Okay. John chapter nineteen. Let's see here. <clears throat> Verse 25, but standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. And when Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom Jesus loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. And he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. So, who, so do you not agree that the Bible says yep. that at the foot of the cross was Mary and John, the disciple whom Jesus loved? Okay, so you were reading from chapter John, uh, John 19, verse... Yes, beginning verse at verse 20, beginning at verse 25. Okay, beginning at verse 25. I, I'm reading here at Jesus' place on the cross. Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and they, they're having like the, the other verses that are referring to that. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I, I read, know, you where, asked where, me to... No, I'm just I'm just having the Bible because I need to read the context no, of this, the no, story. No, 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 one disciple, no, no, a lot of disciples. Now you said no, there's, no, there's one disciple. No, no, no. Bro, do you not agree that in that what we read from John 19, 25 and onwards is contained within the New Testament? Yes or no, bro? Look, all four of them say that he died, bro. I don't know what's the contention here. I'll be honest. No, he yeah. he says that they that there were no eyewitnesses. So, so okay. So so he so gave you what we're so what we're so what we're doing while Nawful sits on his hands is we're going to read not only John nineteen twenty six, we're going to read Luke chapter twenty three and read what it says in verse forty eight. And, the, and all the crowds that had assembled for this spectacle, when they saw what had taken place, returned home, beating their chests. And all his acquaintances and the women who had followed him from Galilee stood at a distance watching these things. So, Nawful, you said that the New Testament contains accurate, historically accurate information about the eyewitnesses to the crucifixion of Jesus. 
Okay. So, does okay. the Bible not say that the disciples stood at a distance watching everything as eyewitnesses and John and Mary, his mother and his aunt, the wife of Clopas, were at the foot of the cross seeing these things happen and Jesus spoke to them directly. Does the New Testament not say that? Nafel, don't don't mute up. Enough. We're getting out of topic here, man. <laughs> no, this is the topic. This is the top, dude. This is the topic. Let me let me say something. This is this is the topic. Here, Nafel, mute up, mute up, mute up. Sink's gonna speak. I mean, it's gonna speak, and then I'm gonna speak. Thank you. Look, look, look. This is <laughs> this is a basic situation, man. Look, they said, yeah. Look, do you agree that Jesus died? He was like, nah. This is what you said. You're like, nah, I don't agree. Jesus died. Okay. Then they said, okay, why? And then you're like, ah, oh, because no eyewitnesses were there. Okay. So let's debunk your reason. That's what, that's what he said. So he gave you two, not just one. He gave you two, at least two. John and Mary were both there according to the text. So therefore now you've got eyewitnesses. Okay. So you don't have, a, and he's gone. Okay. That's great. Exactly. What I was going to ask him was, and, and, and this is what I was saying earlier, man, they don't care, bro. Like, like bro, you can give them a thousand scriptures and it's not going to matter. What I was going to use was use his logic against him. Okay. If you say that there were no witnesses to see that Jesus was crucified, can you show me any the witnesses? Right. Show me some witnesses where Jesus wasn't. Yeah. Right. I mean, that doesn't make much I, I sense. Just, I mean, this is the way that I do it. I just simply hold them to their claims, hold them to their assertions, because we can easily turn these th turn these standards back on their heads and have them destroy Muhammad. But I want to mm. do that after I destroy them on their own claims that they can't prove it. Because he himself just said that the New Testament is an accurate at a station to the eyewitnesses of the crucifixion. And he was just simply going to say that there were none. And so I was going to show him that the eyewitnesses were there. And he asked for them. He literally said, give me the verses after I asked him, does the New Testament not say that? So he asked for this. And so when I'm doing what he asked for, apparently that's going off subject. Me yeah, doing I mean, exactly what he asked for is going off subject. This is nonsense. Yeah.